Seriously, take sweetness seriously, but don't take yourself too seriously. And the people who want to go up against all that are afraid of our light, of our laughter, of mm -hmm. our joy, of our, our dancing, our music. That is the antidote to all of this negativity. What we, our biggest, our biggest tool in fighting all that yep. is our love and our joy. I think so do more of that. I think yeah. they're jealous because they see you guys having so much fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think so too. Yeah. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Make sure you hit the link in the description section. Uh, we got our brand new. Uh, <laughs> I can't stop laughing at this shirt because Trump is the man on this shirt. <laughs> oh, St. Patty's Trump, man. God dang. How about the people that do graphic design for me are just absolutely amazing. Get you one of these shirts, 20% off. The link is in the description section. Look at the flyer. All you need to know is there. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this. I, I want to put this in perspective. Am I wrong for, for, for thinking that this is not good for our country? Celebrating and endorsing drag? I, I just, that's just my personal opinion. And I, what I will say is it's very simple to me. When you are an adult and you are grown, and you are doing this in your own time, effort, and energy at a private business or wherever you decide to do it at, that's your pro uh, prerogative. You can do that if you like. The thing is, is that they start to spill over into other people's business. If you want to do a drag show and you want to take your kids to a drag show, I think it's abhorrent. But you have a right to do that if you want to, as long as they're not doing sex in front of children, which are, which is illegal. If you want to brainwash your kids into being stupid, then that's on you. But what I will say is don't bring that stuff in a public school where people are paying taxes for you to educate children. The government should not endorse stuff like that because any public school curriculum is, in, is an endorsement by the government. I think we forget that. A public school is not a private school. A public school is funded. The educational curriculum is orchestrated, implemented by government state standards and some federal standards. So if you got an, an institution like that, you should not be endorsing or encouraging things that are secularized or that are sexualized to a genre or fetish that people have. Just like you shouldn't have strippers come to a school. That strippers can still have their clothes on and be stripping. I don't know if y'all were born yesterday, but there are strip clubs where they don't where they don't take the top off. Or they just take the top off, I think. But they don't take the underwear off. That don't mean you can't have a stripper go to the school and keep the top and the underwear on, but still be booty cheeks all in your kid's face. How, how is that for career day? If your mama a stripper, can you can your mama come for career day and twerk in front of the class? No, that don't make any sense. That's inappropriate for children. Just like drag shows are inappropriate for children. It creates sexual deviancy. I've never been to a drag show, but I know people that talk about it. And it is for adults. What do you think of this? Well, listen, you're born naked and the rest is drag. Everybody, <laughs> is, right. everybody is playing a role. Everyone. You know, when you get out of the shower, you put on your drag, right? Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. Uh, art doesn't have to explain itself. Drag is art. Here's the thing. Uh, drag is pokes fun at the that stage play that I was talking about earlier, the, the roles that we play. It's there to remind you, do not take yourself too seriously. Yes. Don't take yourself too seriously. Now, there are things that you should take seriously. Yeah. You take kindness seriously. You take love seriously. You take sweetness seriously. But don't take yourself too seriously. And the people who want to go up against all that are afraid of our light, of our laughter, of mm -hmm. our joy, of our, our dancing, our music. That is the antidote to all of this negativity. What we, our biggest, our biggest 
tool in fighting all that yep. is our love and our joy. I think so do more of that. I think yeah. they're jealous because they see you guys having so much fun. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Yeah, but you know, what, you know what the thing is that, that, <laughs> that I particularly love? Is you can ban the drag shows, but you're not coming in my house to turn my TV off. How are you? <laughs> Th these people like RuPaul and them act like it's just a bunch of adults just having a good time. First of all, it's mocking and impersonating women. Men are. These ain't even women. <laughs> these are men doing this. And it's sexualized in many cases. It's adult performance. And at the end of the day, why does it need to exist? And let me tell you what drag really means. And they don't want to be honest. It's an opportunity for dudes to be gay and trans and, 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 and impersonate femininity and then be able to go back to their lives and act like everything all right. They, they don't want to fully come out like a woman and be a trans person. They don't want to fully come out and be gay and do all this other stuff, in my opinion, for some of them. They, it's, it's like an alter ego. They go and put the performance on and they have an opportunity to dress in heels and do all the gay stuff they want to do as men and then they go back to living a double life. That's what cross-dressing and drag is. I don't understand how a man think drag make any sense. Why, don't you, why can't drag be men doing funny stuff as men? Why you got to dress up like a woman and do it? Now, I could be wrong. I don't know the history of drag. That's just my perception from what I see. I should, you know, I don't want to do it, but because I want nothing to do with that degeneracy. But it would be interesting if I went to a drag show undercover and I had my phone out and I, I just show y'all that have never been to a drag show what they actually do in there. And I, I guarantee you I'm right. I guarantee you the average person, if you actually knew what they're doing in, in these drag shows, that you, you would be like, of course this shouldn't be in a school with kids. But it's funny how a man can celebrate, talk about emasculated male behavior, and, they, and they, they're all eyes and attention on him, on The View. If a man got up there and spoke about how men need to be strong, brave, and courageous, and you should be willing to die for the freedom of your for the freedom of the people in your country, they will look at you like you got a, you a three headed monster. If you got on a, a panel and talked and spoke about masculinity and the importance of men retaining uh, the male persona, male behavior that has led this country to be in a great place, they will look at you crazy. It is interesting how the world operates. I honestly believe that when our founding fathers, you know, put in place some of the theology and ide ideology that we express today, they were envisioning us being a lot smaller than where we are because it's easy to keep up with when it's only a couple million people here. When you get to being 10 million, then it's get, it gets difficult. When you go off into now becoming 50 uh, states in the Republic and there's 300 million, 360 million, 400 million, then you start getting way off, off track. It's almost like a mega church. You can, you can really have a, a, a real good conversation with just a, a couple hundred people. You start getting into 10, 30,000 people showing up at church, man, it, it gets watered down and washed out. They don't have enough people, resources to actually tend to the needs of every person. Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoy my content, I guarantee you, you will enjoy Tatum Plus. Brand new platform that we just launched. Exclusive content behind the scenes of speaking engagements. All the stuff you can't see on all of my social media platforms. We'll always have free content, but the extra stuff for people that really love my content will be on Tatum Plus. So go join Tatum Plus today.